there wasn't really that much. And I said, this, the poem was that he wasn't just a boring character. Not much was built up for him. I don't know if he was a romance um, interest either or fanship. And I know there's gay um, relationships in Mass Effect 3 now, and a lot of people complain about this, which I found it strange, because I'm like, why are you complaining about this? Because, uh, is there something wrong? Is the gay relationships really that bad? Well, probably people would say, no, we want the lesbians, not men. Ugh. But hey, the women would probably say the same thing as well. Lesbians, uh, like relationships. Oh, we want, we want gay relationships. I don't know, but I don't really care for that because, as I said, if there's a gay relationship, hey, it could be someone's cup of tea of, of um, looking into that. Actually, the gay relationship actually gave me a shock. It's when I was um, with um, the the guy, Kate, is Kaylin? Uh, Kaylin. I can't say his fucking name properly. I'm not sure I'm saying it properly. I don't remember his name very well, because he didn't really leave a big impact on to me that much. That's the kind of thing with names. If someone leaves a big impact on me, I remove. I remember their names. If they don't leave an impact on me, I don't remember their names. But yeah, that's how it is. Um, but it's when um, uh, I got several emails saying, uh, oh, we should, go, we should have a go out in the Citadel, you know, Garrus, Liara, and him. I'll just call him Kalen for now. Might as well. I think it is Kaelin, but... Um, I went off to talk to him to see, Wait, what's up, Kaelin? Even though you came back in my um, crew. And uh, the music started at the start. I'm thinking, okay, this is a bit of an odd moment, but I'll roll with it. Something suspicious about... No, something suspicious about this moment. I'll roll with it. And then... Um, he starts talking about this, and there's uh, someone he loves, or he wants to have a relationship, and then all of a sudden he turns to me, and I'm like... What?! You, wait, you, uh, you, like, uh, me, uh, why, you know, I'm with, um, uh, Tally, you know? I'm with Tally. You know, Tally, the, um, the Korean, you know, I'm with her, so why are you confessing to... What?! <laughs> That's what I was like. I was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> of course, I turned him down. <laughs> I felt bad. Of course, I felt bad. I mean, this guy just spewed out his, com his confession to me. I'm like, I don't, well, I don't want to be, I didn't want to be mean to him, but I'm already in a relationship with Charlie. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well, there's actually a lot of other great moments from other characters as well, like uh, Mor Morden, that's how I say his name. Like his um heroic um death, you know. Like I want to make sure the cure gets um spread properly. So he goes up, sacrifices himself for the Krogan. I mean, he was the creator of the the genophage, and he is the cure of the genophage, and he dies. Well, I don't think he was a true. I mean, he just finished the work that his uh, apprentice started. I mean. That was hugely heroic, and I'm like, oh, he's not going to come back with me? Shit. And he starts singing that song as well. <laughs> and another moment. There was, like, Fane as well. I mean, if you had a, a romance interest from Fane as Bam Chef, that would have been more devastating. I was male chef first, of course. But when Fane got killed, I'm like, you bastard, you ninja, you Cerberus ninja guy. I'll fucking kill you when I get my chance. Of course, I killed him. Well, <laughs> we all kid did. Who the hell took the um, the the nice um, side way to kill him? No, we took the renegade side. You know, <laughs> smash his sword <laughs> and then stab him. I'm like, how does that make me more renegade? I just got revenge for Fane. Of course, I get revenge for Fane because he killed Fane. And I was going, if so, if Bamsha, if you had a, if you have a love interest in Fane, you want to kill him even more. Like, you killed my love interest, you bastards. Well, that's the thing about love interest. Sorry, my nose is itchy. That's another thing about love interest. So, okay, not all the characters can come with you, like um, Jack and such. But I felt Jack was, it's great to see Jack, but I felt it was a little bit, um, sort of messed out. But I think the worst case, the worst um, uh, really, um, love interest from the last game to get sort of 
shrouded away was um, Jacobs. I mean, seriously, if you had a, a relationship with him, uh, a romance um, relationship with him, it just gets just pushed aside uh, that much. It was, they did talk about it and such, but nothing much happened. It just gets pushed aside and that's it. I mean, nothing happened. I think Jax is a little bit better. I mean, she just comes up, punches you, kisses you, and she even makes fun. She even acknowledges um, Shepard's ability of can't. She that you can't dance, Shepard, on the dance floor. But nothing much else is um, there. Oh, and I did see the video of. Um, oh, as I was seeing the videos of these, and I was just. Oh, but, you know, how can you just um, like? You have the villain show with these characters, you get the middle of these characters in Mass Effect 2, and then there's a sort of pushed into the sidelines. Not all of them were, but Jacobs is the worst case. He is the worst case. And uh, I think Jax has suffered a little bit, but not by much. There was others. I wouldn't call Fane bad because, you know, Fane has a reason for not being there with him, um, has a reason for not being a nobody or on such. I mean, uh, Shepard and Vane got the reunion and and such, and that's good enough. And he got killed as well. And I'm gonna put even more uh, sort of feelings for Vane and just sort of care for him more because I just love Vane. And uh, who knows? Oh, I, was, I was talking about Jack, and when you make the last call, the call to other people, I think Miranda's got a better romance um, part as well. You know, like continue on with the romance. Because, hey, I think they actually slept together in our room, at least. I believe, but I didn't see the whole thing. Um, what I find funny was when they made the phone call from Earth to on our uh, system, and Jack was there, I was like, oh, come back alive, so we can get laid. And then the guy who the guy who was um, working the, the whole telephone thing just <laughs> popped up his head, thinking, what? <laughs> Uh, fine, fine. It's, also, it's also great to see Jack as well. I like Jack. Yeah, she's a bit vulgar and so on, but it's still great to see her. Come on. She's been through hell with you. So, enough about the love uh, interests. If anyone wants to bring up another great uh, romance interest or comment more, I'd like to hear. I'd like to hear more, uh, but uh, I should move on. The the one big moment that sticked out, that, um, sticked out for me is is the the Geth and the Corian sections? Of course, uh, I can't say his name. It's the Salarian. I said his name before. No, I can't say. It. I don't. I don't know how to pronounce it now. It's the Salarian um, scientist who created the general fate and cure the modern or something like that. I can't say his fucking name now. Shit. <laughs> but yeah, he had a great moment as well. But the most memorable to me is the one with the Cur with the Koreans and the Geth. And when you're trying to decide... And by, for me, right, I didn't have a full bar reputation, so I couldn't, I couldn't make them uh, have peace with each other. Like, look, stop fighting each other. Just be peaceful. Stop firing at the Geth. They won't... If you don't fire, then they won't kill you, okay? They have an intelligence of their own now. I couldn't do that. So I had to choose between Legion or my girlfriend Tali. I'm like, shit. <laughs> do I choose my do I choose my good friend? Do I choose one? yeah, my good friend. I love Legion. Legion is funny. Even though he doesn't mean to be, but he is funny. And I love the guy. And then there was Tali. I'm like, oh shit, Tali, my girlfriend. Who do I choose? <laughs> Uh, I got I got stuck in that moment, so I, I choose Tally, of course, because she is my girlfriend. <laughs> and I had to kill Legion, and I was upset about that because I didn't want to kill Legion. Even Tally didn't like the fact that uh, she killed Legion as well, because she um, got to her. She he was her friend as well, or acknowledge him as a friend. She even defended him against one of the other Cor Korean um, admirals. Like you're not taking his, you're not taking him apart. He's with us, you know. You can't take take him apart. It's also great to see Grunt. I don't think it was Grunt didn't have much of a cameo, but you know, it's Grunt. He did his thing. He like ah, oh, kill everything and such. 
And I should talk about the gameplay. I felt, actually felt gameplay was, in, I think the control scheme was improved. I know there are some people who still complain about, uh, where did the thermal clips come from? You know, reloading and, because Mass Effect 1 only had weapons that the overheat is stopped. Which, I never liked that. Uh, I prefer the thermal, to me, I prefer the thermal clips. It just seemed more natural that way. And such, and I st I do prefer what Mass Effect Three, what Mass Effect is now, the soft third person shooter because it makes sense because you're in a military. But I wish it had more RPG elements, more customization because with the guns you can only customize two parts and that's it. And with the armor, there's only like a couple of armor sets and the armor pieces for your N7 armor. Um, there wasn't that many. There was a lot. There's a little bit more than what there was in Mass Effect 2. But come on, I want tons more armor pieces so I can customize my own armor set. I mean, you should give me more customizing, customizing, customized options for my armor as well. You know, what attributes do I want for it, and etc. What pieces do I want, and so on. So I can have my own unique N7 armor. I wish there was a bit more casual clothes as well. I mean, I I don't have the jumper, the N7 hoodie, which I wish I did have, but I apparently came with a certain collection. I want that hoodie. It looks good. <laughs> I want it in real life as well. You can't actually you can't actually buy it from Bioware store, but fucking about seventy dollars. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, see if I can find one on eBay cheaper or something, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> I want one for the endgame one, of course. But yeah, that moment, the moment between Legion and Tali just tore me apart. Like, shit, I, I don't want to do it. <laughs> can we just be friends? Can we hug it out? No? Okay. That's it, you need uh, four bars of um, reputation to, um, uh, to get the option of, you know, okay, yes, and, um, and, uh, Corins, please be friends. <laughs> and they're like, okay. <laughs> and they do become friends, of course. Uh, and yeah, there was a lot of moments that got me good. I f As a, the whole part of um, Shiva being human is also pretty good. What I hate was the fucking kid. I mean, seriously, what the hell was that kid all about? <laughs> And there was also Liara's reaction to her homeworld being destroyed as well. She wasn't happy. She was upset as well. But I'm thinking, you know, you could talk to Shepard about this because he is going through the exact same thing. Hey, even Garrus is going through the same thing. And Garrus is actually holding up pretty well. Actually, Shepard and Garrus are, are holding up pretty well. Yeah, um, Shepard was more doubtful about his win against, um, his win against the Reapers. And... I just find that amazing with Shepard having more death. I already talked about Shepard, but. Um, I don't know. It's probably because um, La uh, Liara is uh, 